all over social media these days you'll see be kind or profile pictures with be kind on them and this all came about to try and stop online bullying because people were actually killing themselves over it. I was originally going to make a video addressing this a few months ago and I completely forgot about it until I watched a Jackmate video a few days ago and he was talking about an influencer who travelled to Dubai during the pandemic and when she was being questioned about it on morning TV she says, oh be kind, like as if be kind excuses you from doing anything like you can't say anything to me because you have to be kind and I think that Jackmate is absolutely hilarious so if you go into his channel actually I'll link that video below you can watch it because he makes a really good point about Ted Bundy so now that I'm reminded and I haven't done a rant in a few weeks today I'm going to be talking about be kind and how ridiculous it is and what I think it should be called instead a few days ago I posted a video about comments I can't stand and the only comments I can't stand is when people say what language she's speaking, I can't understand what she's saying and it's not my fault that those people are so ignorant and they're discriminating against me because they are too stupid to understand what I'm saying and as I mentioned in that video, I get negative comments all the time I get people telling me I'm ugly, I'm annoying, I'm fat to go and kill myself and their comments don't bother me at all but I understand that not everybody's like me and some people are affected by that to the point where they'll actually harm themselves. I'm not trying to stick up for people who say those things to me just because I don't care what they think doesn't mean to say other people aren't going to care and I'm also not trying to justify online bullying but to say be kind to everything it's just taking it too far I constantly see these stupid of positive quotes on Facebook and it's like be kind, you don't know what somebody's going through be kind, always be kind no, don't always be kind if I'm out and somebody comes up to me and they're a cunt to me for no reason I'm not going to stand there and think maybe that person's got depression maybe that person's got mental health problems maybe that person's had a bad day I'm sorry but if you've had a bad day or if you're depressed that doesn't mean to say that you can come up and take out your crap on me I've had many jobs in my life I used to work in a call centre and somebody called up because they couldn't get the volume to work on their cable and they wanted the full thing pulled out so I was going through the process of trying to get the volume to work that person was screaming at me you're an idiot, I know how to work my TV, I know how to work the volume button I know how to do this, I know how to do that and they were calling me for every name under the sun and we weren't allowed to hang up in the end it turned out that their cable remote was on mute but yeah, I was sitting there and I had to get all the abuse of the day no, it's not my fault that you're an idiot and you don't know how to unmute your TV if you work with the public you're constantly going to get people shouting at you calling you an idiot, saying you don't know how to do your job and then when you finally prove that you're right you don't get an apology, you just get an eye roll and they walk away and that's just part of the job if you work with the public you have to be kind because you can't turn around and tell that person to fuck off or you'll get sacked but in day to day life if you're in Tesco and somebody comes up and starts shouting at you you don't have to stand there and just take it you don't have to stand there and think oh they're having a bad day I'm just going to be kind that's not a good way to live now I'm not saying that you should just grab that person and rapidly punch them in the face but what I'm saying is you don't have to stand there and think oh that person is having a bad time with their child their child's greeting, they're stressed out so I'm just going to be kind no that person has to learn to deal with their own stress and not take it out on you I've had a lot of friends who have been going through a hard time or they've had depression or they've had mental health problems and they lash out at you sometimes and it seems as if it's for no reason you know that person personally and you know what they're going through or they've told you a bit of what they're going through and you know that they're having a hard time and if those people lash out on you of course you're going to want to be kind to that person because they're your friend or family but random strangers in the street, to me, they just don't get a free pass. I don't know you. I don't know what you're going through. And quite frankly, I don't actually care. Take your bad mood and fuck off. I'm not a mum, right? And I'm never going to be a mum. But I see a lot of people posting online saying that they teach their children to be kind to everybody no matter what because they don't know what they're going through. And for me that's not a good lesson now you might be sitting there thinking thank god you're never going to have any children you're right, thank god 
but I would never teach my child to stand there and take abuse off somebody because that person's having a bad day. I would teach my child to stand up for herself. Once again, I'm not going to say, take that wee bitch behind the hedge and kick her cunt in. What I'm going to say is, stand up for yourself. Don't let people talk to you like crap because they're having a hard time. Unless that person is your friend or your family and you know that they're struggling with something and that they're taking it out on you because sometimes you feel as if you can only take bad moods or problems out on your closest friends, then that's understandable. But don't let any random wee bitch walk round through the other street and start shouting at you. It's just not acceptable. As Jack mate mentioned in his video, influencers use this all the time just to get away with things. They've had a party for their birthday during the lockdown or they've went on holiday and people address them about it and they're just like, oh, be kind, be kind. I can do what I want because now you have to be kind. No, I don't have to be kind. You have to stop being a dick. Obviously, when it comes to online bullying, you shouldn't go into somebody's video and say, you're fat, you're ugly, you're annoying or whatever because who are you to say that? You're not perfect, do you know what I mean? That is unacceptable. When TikTok was mostly used by children, it was fun. They would go on and dance and they would have a laugh. And then once the adults started coming on to it, they would argue or you would get stupid wee neds arguing over crap. And then there would be TikTok fights and it was so ridiculous. Like I never really go on TikTok anymore because of it. Whenever I was on TikTok, I used to see a video of a guy dancing and you would get comments like, oh, you're gay, you're a homo because a guy was dancing, like as if a guy is not allowed to dance. Or if somebody was bigger or if somebody was fat, they would say, oh, you shouldn't be dancing because you're fat or I'm surprised you can move that fast or whatever. And just disgusting comments because a person has got the confidence to dance when they're not a size six. If you click on a video and you don't like how a person looks or sounds or you don't like their way or you think they're overweight and unhealthy or whatever, Close the video and move on to something else. You don't have to leave a comment and you don't have to be nasty for no reason. But again, that doesn't mean that you have to be kind all the time. Like, look at that woman recently who used Gorilla Glue in her hair and supposedly she was going to sue Gorilla Glue because she put super glue in her hair. Now, I commented on a video about her a couple of days ago and I was like, this woman is an idiot. She doesn't deserve any pity. People were sending her money. Why were those people sending her money? Because those people are as stupid as her. She made a decision to take super glue and put it in her hair. She is an idiot. Me saying that, right, that is not me being unreasonable. Why should I have to say, oh, that's a shame? It's not a shame. She's an idiot. She gets everything she deserves. And then a couple of days ago, somebody decided to wax with Gorilla Glue tape. Once again, I don't feel sorry for that person. That person is an idiot. I'm commenting on that person's actions and I don't feel the need to be kind about it. Ages ago, when people were eating Tide Pods, and it wasn't young children, it was like teenagers and some adults were actually eating Tide Pods, I thought to myself, do you know what? That person is so stupid that they literally deserve death. Now, am I being kind? No. But that person is so idiotic that they should either not have life or they should be taxed for oxygen. Another thing that I think when I'm watching these idiots is that there's young children watching their videos. Whether they're supposed to be on YouTube or TikTok or not, they're going to watch them. I know that children watch my videos and I swear, I mark my videos as not for children, but they're still going to watch it. A seven-year-old could be watching a video of somebody eating a Tide Pod or super gluing their hair and think, oh, this has got three million views. I think I'll do that. Literally just for the views, that's what kind of world we're living in. People will do anything just for views and children are picking up on that and they're going to start doing this crap because they see adults doing it. The final point that I'm going to make about this is that there's so many times I've seen people commenting on TikTok or Facebook or even YouTube posts and they'll be saying, you're fat, you're ugly, you're a mess or like whatever it is they're saying that's just complete nastiness and their profile picture says, be kind. And I think, why have you got that? Why are you being a hypocrite? Why are you telling people to be kind when you're nothing but a nasty wee cunt? The vast majority of people that I personally know that have had be kind on their profile picture, they just make me laugh because when we were growing up, they were bullies 
or they were just cunts to people for no reason or you see them commenting on things all the time just being nasty to people. Now, I'm not a nice person and I've never claimed to be a nice person but I would never have be kind on my profile picture because I don't agree with being kind all the time. People are obviously just using this because they want people to think that they are so nice and that they've never bullied anybody or that they've never battered MD for no reason or they've never called MD fat or whatever. And it's a lie because I actually know them and I know that they've done it in real life, not just online. So instead of people like taking pictures like, mm, 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 be kind. It shouldn't say be kind. What it should say is, don't be a cunt for no reason. That might be a bit difficult to fit on a small profile picture, but that is what it should say. Don't go onto somebody's post and call them fat. Don't go onto somebody's post and say that they're annoying or tell them to go and kill theirself. But if somebody has done something that is stupid, like eat a Tide Pod, like super glue their hair, then say it. It's alright to say it. It's okay to be honest with people. We don't have to be kind 24-7. We don't have to support influencers that have birthday parties during a lockdown. We don't have to be nice all the time. I certainly don't expect people to be nice to me all the time. Like if you watch this video and you don't like it, that's fine, you can tell me in the comments if you want. If you don't want to just close the video and move on to something that you like and you want to take the extra time out of your day to say, your video is crap, you're annoying, you do that. That helps my video and that's fine. But remember that not everybody welcomes comments like that. It's also important to remember that just because a person's overweight or because they're fat, that doesn't mean to say that they're not suffering with body dysmorphia. People seem to think that people with body dysmorphia or anorexia are only skinny people, but it's possible that a bigger person has also got that. So you telling them that they're fat or that they're ugly because of their weight, that could lead to them killing themselves or it could lead to them self-harming. Now you might not care, right? And if that's the case, then you're an even bigger cunt than I am. And that's saying something. That's really not something that you should be proud of. And you really need to take a look at yourself. If you think it's alright to go on and tell people that they're ugly and fat and that they've got something wrong with them, you're the one who's got something wrong with them and you've probably got a mental health problem that you might want to get seen to. So that's one run over for the day. Let me know in the comments if you're one of these people who think that you should just be kind all the time. If you should just be nice to people all the time. If you think that you should let people talk to you like crap and do nothing about it. Or if you think you should stand up for yourself every once in a while. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, consider subscribing. And remember, don't be a cunt for no reason.